The city of Madrid is home to over 3 million people, with that number rising to over 6.5 million when you include the surrounding region. Spaniards from across the country have all settled here, making it a lively and cosmopolitan centre. But the Spanish capital has also attracted many immigrants from around the world. And unbeknown to most, Kazakhstan is well represented. This is the story of four Kazakhs who have seen their dream come true. Dahan Tarbey came to Madrid to study when he was 13 years old. He's about to finish his degree in architecture. Bueno, eso que cuando estás estudiando y trabajando fuera de tu país, eh, te centras mucho más en trabajar y estudiar, no sé, es como un, un objetivo tuyo y dejas de lado algunas cosas de disfrutar cosas para ti. No sé, es que es una cosa yo creo que es más bien psicológica, no depende del sitio. Lo que pasa es que aquí estoy más centrado en mis cosas, porque, no sé, es un gran objetivo que uno se propone y ya lo sigue. Casi prácticamente eh, vivo aquí desde los 13, 14 años, he crecido aquí, entonces igual estos valores ya son míos. Igual me siento a veces más madrileño que cazajo. Yo creo que esos, eh, todos esos, mmm, la, la cocina, la gente, uh, el tiempo, todo eso depende de cómo vives, no de dónde eres. Si tienes vida de un estudiante, pues que estás iniciándote en este mundo, luchando todos los días, intentando hacerlo lo mejor posible, alcanzando tus metas, yo creo que da igual de dónde seas. Muchas veces tengo muchísima hambre, por ejemplo, a las siete y media, pero nadie quiere comer de, de mis amigos hasta las nueve y media, o sea, cenar. Lo mismo pasa a la hora de comer, a las doce, ya quiero un lunch o algo, o sea, un picotear algo, y la gente come a las tres, a las dos y media. Pero eso sí, comen, comen bien, para luego echarse una siesta. Eso, eso es una gran costumbre que, me, que, me, que se me ha implantado en mí. Yo después de comer, mis mínimo 10 minutos tengo que echarme. Ahí en Kazajistán, cuando, no sé, ves a una, a una amiga de tu amigo por primera vez en tu vida, bueno, no le das ni uno beso, ni un beso ni dos. Dices, hola, me llamo tal, y haces así, ni, ni siquiera le das la mano. Bueno, al menos yo. Pero aquí ya sabéis que no es así. Bueno, ¿para qué vamos a mentir? Cuando yo como acabé el colegio aquí, pues en el colegio sí que tuve algún choque, choque con la gente de aquí. Pero yo creo que es normal y no sé, es una cosa de acostumbrarse. Y siempre pasa al principio, aunque, aunque seas de otra raza, o sea, otra apariencia o de la misma. He visto cómo, pues, no sé, intentaban meterse con gente mmm, de, de la misma ciudad, solo por ser nuevos. Yo creo que es una cosa de ser nuevo. Y luego ya me tratan de igual a igual. Pero, y, claro, en la universidad ya no pasa. La burocracia, pues yo, yo creo que es Madrid, Madrid es una de las ciudades más avanzadas en eso. Para estudiantes es muy fácil, es muy fácil. O sea, mientras tengas todo lo que piden y mi ciudad también, que no sé, mucha gente lo habrá visto, Almaty, que es una ciudad, pues no, no es que sea la, la más grande o la más bonita, las hay más bonitas, obviamente, pero no sé, tiene algo de magia, a lo mejor, que, que te atrae como un imán. Ertan Kulibayev earned a scholarship to study violin at the Queen Sophia School of Music. He is now a leading violinist with many international awards to his name. So uh, when I arrived uh, to Madrid to study, uh, I didn't speak any language than Russian. Uh, it was a difficult time for me because I, I had to translate everything very fast. Uh, but um, it was also good that I didn't speak Sp uh, English at first, so that uh, I, I could uh, concentrate in uh, Castellano and I learned it faster than other people who already could speak uh, English. And uh, then when I uh, learned uh, Castellano, I started to learn English also. And uh, it was like in this uh, order, uh, how I learned the languages. The Queen Sophia um, High uh, Music School is a fantastic school because 
it gives uh, opportunity to um, uh, students from different countries all over the world to study with the best uh, teachers uh, from uh, from different countries. So uh, I, for example, I uh, studied with Tahar Bron. He's uh, considered uh, the best, one of the best, or for me the best, simply in the world because he, uh, when when he works with me, uh, he gives gives me one advice, and this advice uh, costs like. Uh, 100 advices from uh, other maybe um, and uh, I, I, I liked very much to study with him 10 years and also I had a very uh, huge uh, experience with uh, chamber music I played a lot of concerts with uh, duo, trio, string quartet, piano quartet, piano quintet and also also chamber orchestra, symphonic orchestra it was a very ex ex uh, important experience for me. I learned a lot from uh, conductors. Uh, for example, I had an uh, opportunity to play with, uh, as a soloist uh, Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto with uh, Vladimir Ashkenazi. He's uh, one of the most important conductors now. And uh, it was a great experience for me. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Also, uh, Thanks to the school, I, I went to Me Mexico to play with orchestra and I played also um, uh, the tour of, in Spain with the uh, Alicante University Orchestra. It's a youth orchestra, very, uh, very talented people is playing there. And we played in different uh, cities in, in Spain like uh, Madrid, Zaragoza, Alicante. It was a, a very nice experience for me. Tatiana Tartacheva is studying a master's in economics and innovation management. She's looking to start her own business. Uh, well, I always have had a dream about visiting this country because it was uh, very interesting for me, the culture of this country and the language. And I was interested in uh, the Formula One and uh, the pilot Fernando Alonso. And and after that, I was interested about the culture, and now I'm there studying and living and just uh, enjoying the life. <laughs> Compared to Kazakhstan, living in Madrid is more relaxing. And uh, uh, here we can find a lot of places where we can relax, uh, like parks and uh, um, things where we can make sport and uh, some exp expositions, museums and everything, and the culture. The culture here in this city is more uh, progressive. Uh, that's why this, this is a big difference about these cities. Here a lot of seafood and fish, and in Kazakhstan we're eating more meat. And uh, in Kazakhstan we like a lot tea, a lot of tea, <laughs> black tea with milk. And here a lot of coffee, and I don't like coffee. <laughs> That's why this is a problem in cafes and some kinds of restaurants. Mm -hmm. In university, I always want to, uh, to drink tea, and my classmates always said to me, "Why tea? Why you you don't want to drink coffee or something more?" And I said, "No, we we always drink tea <laughs> for the morning, for the evening, everywhere, and." Uh, and every time. Uh, as a tradition, another difference is about marriage, uh, about the age of marriage. Uh, because in Kazakhstan it's normal when you have a family at the age of 25 or 26 years, it's okay. And you're studying about 20, 22 years. And here, um, I think about 40 <laughs> or 35. Uh, the only one thing that I'm missing from Kazakhstan is my parents and my friends. Uh, I'm really the person that can connect with each other and uh, that's why here uh, I don't miss the products or snow or something like that. Because uh, Spain is not so big country and there is a lot of, of everything here. Uh, if you want to swim and if you want to relax, uh, you have a sea. 
If you want to have a ski or something like that, you have mountains that's not so far from Madrid, for example. That's why I really don't miss <laughs> nothing. The most important things that I will remember in future is that, uh, is, uh, is that moment when I'm trying to decide what I want to do here and what um, and uh, why I want to live here, or maybe I want to change the country, or maybe I want to live in Kazakhstan with my parents. Vedic Bekborchev has recently arrived and is a journalist representing Kazakhstan's Kassin Form news agency. That's uh, quite different. It's another culture, another traditions. Um, but the same is uh, Kazakhstan is uh, is a mess of traditions and cultures and nations. We have like more than uh, 120 nations in Kazakhstan, and here is the same. A lot of nations, traditions, religions, and everything. Uh, but here is everything different like the the way uh, Spanish people work in Kazakhstan we work from 9 till 1 and from 2 till 6 well uh, in Kazakhstan we we're eating a lot of meat and we have a joke like uh, Kazakhs are are the second in the world the most eating meat and who's the first Wolves. <laughs> that, that's a joke, but uh, uh, we are eating a lot of meat. And here people eating more seafood, uh, more fruits and vegetables. And um, well, I'm good with that because it's, it's more healthy. Uh, and the other thing is that here uh, is a lot of people drinking wine, beer uh, all the day. They start from like one or two and drinking all the day, every day. And in Kazakhstan, we never drink uh, alcohol, wine or uh, beer every day. Something I didn't expect is a lot of thieves here because in Kazakhstan, we don't have a lot, so much thieves. Uh, I miss uh, my family and my friends, because in Kazakhstan we have uh, big, big families. Uh, but uh, I'm trying not to think about it, because uh, uh, new country, new opportunities, new time, new possibilities. <laughs> and that's that about what I should think now. Uh, the most different things are the that uh, a lot of uh, historical beautiful buildings here because in Kazakhstan uh, when uh, Mongols arrived in our territory they destroyed all the cities all the buildings for Kazakhs four stories all making the most of their opportunities to live in Spain